Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you Lord God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So Aries, we have the Sun card. We have the Queen of Cups. All right, so um, some of you could just be a very playful, have a very playful nature about you. You do something with children or children are around you or they're in your environment in some type of way. Maybe you have a lot of kids. I don't know. But the Queen of Cups here is like um, someone could be seeing you in a different light, Aries. But you may be closed off to their affection or their um, their attention. It seems as if every time they come around, they kind of destabilize the, you. Um, right now, you're focused on being emotionally stable, and with dealing with this situation, you are destabilized. It, you, you unravel. You come apart. You question yourself. You question the relationship. You start to give all of your emotion, your nurturing, caring, loving um, side yourself to this situation, to this person. And But you're always questioning if you should be doing it. There's confusion that this person brings to you. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Somebody needs to cut somebody out or cut somebody off or cut something off. Somebody needs to cut away something or somebody. Not saying that the decision is being made, but someone needs to do that. Someone could be saying that they're aware that they need to change or change some dynamic about themselves. Someone could want to come to you and declare their intentions. They could even be obsessed with you, infatuated with you with the idea of having you this could be someone that you grew up with maybe childhood friend or childhood childhood is coming up this is someone who okay so there's mystery surrounding whatever they've got going on especially with their finances because they may be operating in a dynamic or partnership where there are shared resources or shared finances this person could already have merged their life with someone else and they need to untangle that. They need to unravel that. And that's the decision that needs to be made for some of you. For some of you, you don't know if you're pregnant. You could be pregnant. There's a possibility of pregnancy. I mean, that's very general. That could be anybody, right? There is a possibility that conception could have happened, you know. Somebody may want to work on something again. This will be again, okay, because something has been done over and over. Um, this person could be thinking about you over and over. They're thinking about the happier times. Again, seeing you in a different light, whatever that light may be, that you are the person for them, you are their soulmate. You are the person that brings them happiness, contentment, fulfillment, okay? Um, this is how they feel about you or vice versa. All of this energy can be vice versa, so do know that. Um, some of you are too focused on work to even be focused on love right now. You're too focused on establishing yourself, your business. So You're doing something over and over again. Uh, wash, rinse, repeat, you know, um, because you're trying to get something to some self-sustaining energy where it can just run, you know, alone and, and not having you be so hands-on so you don't have time for this. And maybe you feel like that with a person. I don't have time to put into you. It, you're too hands-on. It's too much. You destabilize me. You unravel me. Whether you told them this or you didn't. It could even be a child. 
children in your life that do this to you. They, they just, you're frazzled, you're fried when you're when you deal with them. You feel an energetic pull, a shift, a shift change. Um, they take your energy, then and they have it, and then they're feeling, you know, vitality and you know, vigor and vibrant and all of those things, and then you just feel depleted. So it looks like, I don't know, Aries, you or somebody else, the cup is closed. There's a cap on her chalice, if you will. It's, you don't you don't have time for it. Not right now. It doesn't mean not ever, but not now. Is what you are saying or someone else is saying to you. Not now. Doesn't mean not ever, but not now. You also focus on self-development. Like you're trying to develop your psychic abilities your intuition i need to listen to my first voice and not the 10th one you're trying to really develop yourself and you don't develop that with all these different energies in your in your sphere in your atmosphere you need to be alone you need some alone time also right now you're giving good advice to people if they are asking of you because you're not attached to the outcome so that means that you can tell them what the best you know your best advice if they do none of what you say you don't care because you're not attached to the outcome you did what you were supposed to do some of you are approaching your job and your work like that like I did what I was supposed to do and um, I've let it go I've released it I'm not attached to the outcome so this is what's going on for you right now uh, Aries I hope that it resonates for you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.